Declaration. I decree your healing, for you are good, and your mercy endures forever. I will trust your healing process for me. I will rest in the shadow of your wings. Psalm 103, 2 through 5. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Jeremiah 17, 14. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For you are my praise. Declaration. For the Almighty is my healer. All his ways are good. He is entirely trustworthy. All his ways are good. Jeremiah 30, 17. For I will restore health to you and heal you of your wounds, says the Lord. Because they called you an outcast, saying, This is Zion. No one seeks her. Hosea 6, 1. Come and let us return to the Lord. For he has torn, but he will heal us. He has stricken, but he will bind us up. Declaration. On the cross, by Jesus' wounds, we are already healed. It's already finished. The curse of sin, death, and disease was broken forever. By the blood of Jesus, we are set free to walk into our healing. Healing that he died to give us. We claim all he died to give us. Hosea 14.4 I will heal their backsliding. I will love them freely. For my anger has turned away from him. Malachi 4.2 But to you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings, and you shall go out living in abundance. Declaration I fix my gaze on the author and perfecter of faith. In him I will place my trust. He is my strong tower. The righteous run to him and thereby are saved. Psalm 30, 2 through 3. O oh Lord, my God, I cried out to you, and you healed me, O oh Lord. You brought my soul up from the grave. You have kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. Exodus 15, 26. And you said, if you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God, and do what is right in his sight, give ear to his commands, and keep all his statutes, I will put no disease on you that I brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. Declaration. You pour out living waters, refreshing springs that water my spirit, soul, body, mind, will, and emotions. I place my faith in the sustainer of all life. Your hand, Lord, is upon my heart, and your spirit gives me each breath. Restorer of my hope and my destiny, I look to you alone, for you are my salvation and healing. Deuteronomy 7, 15 And the Lord will take away from you all sickness, will afflict you with none of the terrible diseases of Egypt, which you have known, but will lay them instead on all those who hate you. Psalm 34, 19, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Declaration, I break agreement with all word curses placed on me. In Jesus' name, I break off health-related curses and malfunctions of my ancestors, starting with Adam and Eve. And I speak life. I speak life. Jesus is my life. He is breath. And life to my bones, my organs, my body systems, lymphatic vessels, drainage and detox, circulatory and neurological function. Every organ I call to life in Jesus' name. Every body system I call to life according to my Creator's design and His perfect, pure blood and DNA. Isaiah 
Isaiah 53, 4 through 5. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Jeremiah 33, 6. Behold, I will bring health and healing. I will heal them and reveal to them the abundance of peace and truth. Declaration. In Jesus' name, I command the breath of life to enter every body system, part, and organ for normal function to be restored according to God's perfect plan for restoration, healing, and miracles that bring glory to the King of Kings, creator of the universe, of me, and of all things. I trust your perfect healing hand. I choose you, and I choose your plan. Isaiah 58, 8. Then your light shall break forth like the morning. Your healing shall spring forth speedily, and your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Declaration. You hem me in behind and before. Every generational sin back to Adam and Eve, I proclaim dead to me and severed. I repent for all generational sins and participation in evil. In the name of Jesus, I break off all curses, pacts, oaths, and alliances with darkness. His holy, perfect, divine blood now covers me and all my ancestors. I forgive all those who have injured or abused me or any who have offended me in any way. I forgive God, myself, and all my ancestors for all the evil that has entered my generational bloodlines. I plead the blood of Jesus and his cleansing on my entire family line back to Adam and Eve. I ask you, Father God, to appropriate Christ's forgiveness onto my family lines and break off all connection to evil. Please break the curses and consequences in Jesus' name and by his blood. Please cleanse us all and remove the spirits of iniquity. Remove degeneration from my family line and trees in Jesus' name. Please restore the blessings that were blocked by the curses. Shine the light of the Holy Spirit on my family line. Enlarge the Spirit of God on every vacated space and place. In Jesus' name, I ask these things. Proverbs 3, 7 through 8. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh. It will be strength to your bones. Exodus 23, 25. So you shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread. He will bless your water, and I will take away, take away sickness away from the midst of you. Declaration. I repent for all word curses I have come into alignment with, for receiving and accepting medical diagnoses and proclamation of death, infirmity, disease, illness, and chronic infections and conditions. I hereby from my spirit, seated in Christ in the heavenly realms, over every power and authority of darkness, I proclaim freedom from those words. I break all agreement with negative words and prognoses in Jesus' name. I proclaim the truth that Jesus Christ is my healer and that his resurrection power invested in my spirit by his Holy Spirit is all I need to resume the life intended for me for health and happiness full of the joy of the Lord. And I receive it. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 91, 15 through 16. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalm 32. O oh Lord my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. Declaration. I repent for all personal sin that has opened doors to darkness to afflict and oppress me. I now repent for it all witchcraft, occult participation, murderous or vengeful thoughts, and abortion, 
rape, rage, incest, abuse, hate, resentment, unforgiveness, and anger at God. I repent for all sins, known or unknown, willing or unwilling, and receiving sinful words, thoughts, actions from others, while failing to stand up for truth and freedom. I repent on behalf of myself and all previous generations and ask for God's forgiveness through Christ Jesus, my proclaimed Lord, ruler of my life and over all the universe. I renounce and break free from all inherited sin and engagement in sin myself. I sever all attachments of sin by the power of the blood of Christ. And I ask you, Lord, to remove all spirits of evil from every part of my mind, body, spirit, soul, and send them straight into the abyss. No transfers allowed. Please come, Holy Spirit, and fill every vacant place and enlarge your spirit to overflow, abounding with your holy fruit. Thank you, Jesus, for your victory. By the blood of Jesus, victory in all things. Psalm 107, 19 through 20. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saveth them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. Psalm 73, 4 through 5. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Declaration Come, Holy Spirit, come. Pour out in abundance. Pour out your favor. Pour out your grace, healing, forgiveness, and cleansing. Psalm 147, 3. He heals the broken in heart and binds up their wounds. Declaration. Your grace abounds in trials and tests, Lord. We call upon you this day to meet our every need according to your riches in glory. Fill every part of mind, body, spirit, soul with a divine healing that only you provide. There is salvation and lasting healing in no other name. All authority in heaven and earth has been given to you. You have given us your authority to trample serpents underfoot and crush the devices of the enemy. This day, we commit to your path, your purposes, your divine instruction, your ways. In all our ways, we acknowledge you so that you can direct our path. You are a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. You know the answers where no human can. You are the designer and inventor of life itself, and nothing is impossible for you. You raise the dead, and my situation is no big deal for you. I rest on your promises, for all your promises are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. Isaiah 38, 16. O Lord, by these things men live, and in all these things is the life of my spirit. So wilt thou recover me and make me to live. I have seen his ways, and I will heal him. I will also lead him and restore comforts unto him and to his mourners. Isaiah 57, 18. Declaration. Look deep into my soul, Lord, and unveil hidden things, wounds and traumas that are currently blocking my healing. Please remove any demonic guards that are trying to prevent entrance into hidden memories. Enter into the pain, traumas, and forgotten wounds, Holy Spirit. Bring your healing light, Balm of Gilead. Be my advocate, bodyguard, protector, and the one who carries me into freedom. Stand up for the wrongs done against me as I place the full weight of the wrongs on your shoulders, there at the cross. You already died to receive the penalty for sin, the weight of overwhelm, the pain and betrayal of abuse, the condemnation, shame, and guilt placed on me by the enemy of my soul. I release all the pain into your capable hands and forgive all abusers and all who participated in trauma that harmed me. I forgive you, I forgive myself, and I receive your embrace and feel your arms wrapped around me right there in those hidden places of my soul. Please bring your healing as you appropriate your forgiveness to all situations, and I release those who I have held captive by resentment. 
Please send all parts that do not belong to me back where they belong, in Jesus' name. Please gather all parts of me from anywhere else in all creation, including demonic torment, cleansed in the blood of Jesus, and restored to my soul for full healing and wholeness. Bring the restoration you promised me. I pray in Jesus' name. Cast out all spirits that have been given an open door through these wounds and send them to demonic torment in Jesus' name. Wash me clean. Give me a clean slate, renewed in mind, and for your purposes and glory alone. Shine your glory light into the depths of my soul and bring complete healing and restoration, I pray in Jesus' name. Fill me up completely with the blood and shining light of my Savior through the Holy Spirit. Let me be made new in the wholeness of who you designed me to become. As I stay connected to your vine so that you produce an abundance of amazing fruit through my life. I pray in Jesus' name. Jeremiah 33, 6. Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them. Declaration, I come into agreement with the word of truth. I fix my gaze on you, Jesus. All the promises of the word of God regarding my healing, I appropriate to every part of mind, body, spirit, and soul. I join with the faith of those praying for my healing. I claim the promises of the word of God regarding my healing. Where two or more are gathered, you're there. We're expectant to see your face. Clothed in Christ's righteous robe, righteous by his gift alone. Now your righteous children, our fervent prayers are powerful and effective. Psalm 55, 18. He hath delivered my soul in peace from the battle that was against me, for there were many with me. Psalm 42, 11. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him who is the health of my countenance and my God. Declaration. I will not look to my own self or to humans for answers. I look to the author of my life, to the author of my body parts and all my body systems. Please now, God, restore every part that is missing. I call forth the waters of the Holy Spirit. Wash, replenish, and restore all enzyme and hormone levels. I break off all that affected my health by the blood of Yeshua. Freemason, Satanism, hex, curse, spell, device, potion, cauldron, vex, charm, voodoo, or black magic. I saturate every part of my being in the blood of Jesus and dive into a lake of Jesus' blood. I swim in the healing waters of his Holy Spirit, immersed in that refreshing crystal sea. Through communion, remembering Christ's broken body, the blood he sacrificed in my place, defeating forever darkness, now ever holding the keys of victory over every power of sin, death, and disease. Please appropriate your blood over any condition affecting me. Please cancel all assignments against the full health granted me. I now stand washed and freed in Christ's healing blood. I receive all he died to give me. Job 4, 3-4 Behold, thou hast instructed many, and thou hast strengthened the weak hands. Thy words have upholden him that was falling, and thou hast strengthened the feeble knees. Declaration I choose healthy habits eating, drinking, and living in every way to the glory of God. I turn my back on selfish living. I offer my body as a living sacrifice, a pleasing aroma to the glory of God, living a faithful steward in line with his purposes and plans, the giftings and callings just for me. You designed and created me before I entered my mother's womb. I am fearfully and intricately made. I want to be what you made me to be, Jesus. Let my actions reflect your hand on my life. Let my choices be a response of surrender to your ways. Let my back be turned on anything.
anything that hinders. I rebuke the choices that would try to destroy all that you have for me. I give my all to you in Jesus' name. Proverbs 16, 24. Pleasant words are as a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. Declaration. Your divine power has given me all I will ever need. Every weapon I need to defeat the enemy has already been placed in me. Your word, the armor of God, your promises, and your praise shall ever be on my lips. I lift my hands in surrender and follow you all of your ways. Your thoughts and plans are much higher than my own. I trust that you know exactly what you are doing. I know you've got reasons for your commands and your plans. I choose to be faithful a responsible steward, pure and clean for your Holy Spirit to flow through this vessel. I will eat to alkalize, cleanse, and detox my temple. I will meditate on thoughts that are pure and uplifting. I will speak your truth alone, exalting God Almighty, giving no foothold, no place for the enemy's deceit. I rebuke the lies and deceptions of the enemy. Lord, write your truth on every fiber of my being. I call every cell and part to pay attention to Christ's word, his arms of love, and his love letter to heal all things. Psalm 27, 14. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait I, on the Lord. Wait, I say, wait on the Lord. Psalm 28, 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoiceth, and with my song will I praise him. Declaration I step into the chamber of the lover of my soul, who has prepared a place for me. I allow you, Lord, and you alone, to touch the innermost parts of me, to cleanse what has been broken, to touch the fragile parts and restore to wholeness what has been torn. Gently remove the devastating weapons, darts, and swords, enemy daggers, lies, pins, traps, and snares. Take them out completely from these places they don't belong. Throw them to the abyss, root system, and all. Kiss the parts of me that can be healed by no human. Lover of my soul, let your love heal me. Let your love wash over me like the rushing of a waterfall. Abiding always in all my body, spirit, soul, and mind. Resurrection power, burst forth your springs of life in me. Heal it all and call back to life the parts of me that died. With the kiss of heaven, I am healed. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Psalm 55, 22. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Declaration, I bow on my knees before the King of Heaven and proclaim, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Your mercies and blessings are never ending. There is no one and nothing in all creation that can compare to you. You are matchless in worth and in identity. The blood of Jesus I plead over all creation. Cancel out any attempt to rob me of life and prosperity in my soul. Come, Holy Spirit, make all things right with me. In Jesus' name I pray. Matthew 8, 7. And Jesus saith unto him, I will come and heal him. Declaration. I command all parts of my body to manufacture and secrete what it is supposed to. I command the cells and neurons and receptors all over my body to receive what is manufactured and circulated, then use it appropriately according to the Creator's design. I call this forth in Jesus' name. I command the excretion of all toxins, hindrances, and blockages to the body's processes. I call to order all the body systems and call forth supernatural detoxification. I call forth production of all that is necessary for proper life and function according to the Creator's design. I call for the restoration of unbalanced levels. I call into alignment all complexities and body systems that have been hindered. Come forth healing in Jesus' name. I call
call for a total reset in neural activity and a reset of all memory systems. I command a total washing clean of all impurities in mind and mental processing. I call forth alignment with Christ's purity. Be made clean in Jesus' name. Be made clean in Jesus' name. Isaiah 40, 29. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Declaration. I call forth an acceleration of healing. I call forth resurrection of the dead by the dunamis power of Jesus, appropriated to those who believe and receive his spirit. I call to life all that was once lost and bring to fruition the promises of God in this body, mind, soul, and spirit, according to the will of God. For all who sought healing, he healed. Matthew 9, 35. Then Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. Declaration. All my family and relatives I entrust to my Creator to restore the wounded places in them and bring forth the healing God wants for them too. I plead the blood of Jesus over all I love. Jesus, pour out your mercy on them. Draw in those who need healing by your kindness. Lead them to your heart and tender mercies. Restore to wholeness the deep places in them that blocked your goodness for so many years. Cancel the assignments against their healing. Come, Holy Spirit, on my family and loved ones. Matthew 9, 21-22 For she said within herself, If I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. Declaration Write your truth in the depths of my soul and every part of me. I claim, declare, and decree that I am more than a conqueror through Christ. Nothing is impossible for those who believe in Christ. And by your stripes, I was already healed. Now I am just walking it out, step by step, breath by breath. I claim the promises that you will never leave me nor forsake me. You work all things together for the good of your beloved, called according to your purpose. I appropriate to my circumstances that what the enemy meant for evil, you are using for good, for the saving of many lives. I believe in your truth, and I claim it. Nothing in all creation can separate me from the love of God in Christ Jesus. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. I am washed in the blood of the Lamb, and Christ died once for all. By his power, now I live. In all the fullness, he died to give me. I believe that eternal life starts right now in relationship with my Creator. I receive him into every part of my heart and soul to save, heal, deliver, and restore me. Thank you forever, Jesus, for freedom and eternal life with you. You laid down your life to redeem mine. Matthew 15, 30. Then great multitudes came unto him, having with them those that were lame, blind, dumb, and maimed, and many others, and cast them down at Jesus' feet, and he healed them. Declaration. I call to remembrance all the ways you've been faithful to provide for me, all the answered prayers, all the miracles, provision of resources, and help in time of need. I trust that you are the same God yesterday, today, and forever. The God of the Bible, who always made beauty out of ashes, is the same God dwelling in my heart today. Matthew 15, 28. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto you, even as thou wilt. And her daughter made whole from that very hour. Declaration. I choose to give thanks in all circumstances. Thank you, God, for your eternal love for me. Thank you for never leaving nor forsaking me, for knowing every hair on my head. Thank you that you count and collect my tears and that you weep with me. Thank you that weeping lasts only for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Thank you for all the good you will bring out of my circumstance as I surrender every part to you. 
Thank you for making me stronger as you heal my inner wounds. Thank you for allowing your light to shine through me. Let your glory light burn brightly in me, Lord. You've made me a city on a hill that cannot be hidden. Thank you for the good, good plans you have to be glorified through the miracle you're making of me. I want what you want, Lord. I cling to your promises and goodness as you take me by the hand and lead my every move. Thy will be done with me. Mark 16, 17 through 18. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. These signs shall follow them that believe, and by their fruit you will know them. Declaration I break every curse off every organ, body part, and system. By the power of the blood of Christ, I break off every evil curse, military and medieval, satanic and freemason, witchcraft, occult, eastern, shaman, eugenic, transhuman, reptilian, amphibian, and all other curses. Remove from me every nephilim, robotic, bionic, computer chip or system. Remove every single implanted, cloned, transplanted part, organ, network, or mind-body control systems. Bundle up that garbage and toss it into the abyss. Restore to me the real me. Create in me only human parts, sanctified, washed clean by the blood of Jesus. I'm perfected by my Creator's loving hands and His perfect design. I call my body to reject all invaders, anything apart from God's original design. Yeshua HaMashiach is Lord of this body, mind, spirit, and soul. Come, Holy Spirit, expand and enlarge to abundance in every part of me. Push out of me anything not of you. Send it to the abyss. Restore my whole being to righteousness and health, perfectly aligned with the will of Yahweh, my Creator. 2 Timothy 1.7 For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. John 8.36 If the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Declaration I break off all mind control, cult, and ritual abuse programming. I destroy all programs of self-destruction. By the blood of Jesus, I renounce and repent, completely sever and detach it from every part and memory. Please break off every soul tie, relationship bond, silver or other cords to witchcraft or cult from every part of body, soul, spirit, and mind, and every memory. In Jesus' name. Sever every tie to Illuminati. Cast out all related spirits into the abyss. Close and remove every door, access point, and portal. No more oppression or affliction, sealed by the blood of Jesus. Please enlarge in me, Holy Spirit, abounding in your matchless, all-consuming love. There will only be forward progress from here. I claim this in Jesus' name. Luke 4:40. All they that had any sick with diverse diseases brought them unto him, and he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. Acts 5, 16. There came also a multitude out of the cities round about unto Jerusalem, bringing sick folks, and them which were vexed with unclean spirits, and they were healed, every one. Romans 8, 2. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. Declaration. I break all agreement with spirits of death, diseases, and infirmities by the blood of Jesus. I renounce all death wishes and suicidal thoughts in Jesus' name and by his blood. Please remove from me all consequences of willful or coerced decisions made under drugging or hypnosis or removed from consciousness in any way. I repent and renounce all things not of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I ask for complete reversal by the blood of Jesus. Please remove all entities or fallen beings. Send them to the abyss. Fill those spaces and places with Holy Spirit enlargement and restore the stolen blessings in Jesus' name. Romans 8, 11. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Philippians 4, 7, and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. 
declaration. I look into your eyes of fire, Jesus, and as you look into my soul, let your fire burn up everything that is not your perfection. I fix my gaze on you. I love you. I can trust you in all things. I look forward to all you have for me. Thank you, Jesus. I step into the new life you have for me, Lord. I turn my back on old ways of thinking and acting, now embracing your new ways for me to thrive, heal, and become Christ's purified bride. James 5, 13 through 15. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Declaration. I lay hands with my brothers and sisters all around the world who are stepping forward into your kingdom here on earth, implanted in the hearts of men. Make your throne on my heart. Be over all in all, blessing through all that my hands touch. Be the maker of every good thing in this life. Every good and perfect gift comes from above. I celebrate your process, your gifts, your touch, your absolute perfection in this life. By your hands, I am made new. Thank you, sweet, sweet Jesus. 1 Peter 2, 24, who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. 3 John 1, 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Declaration. It is finished. The curse of sin and death is forever broken. I worship at your feet, Jesus, King of heaven. I love you so much. I choose to receive your love your healing touch, your love and embrace. Wash me deeper than I could ever imagine. Thorough cleansing and healing of all of me. Unimaginable destiny for me as you conform me to your image. Let my countenance reflect the radiance of my king, my body and soul a trophy of your love. On the lap of my Abba Daddy, attentive love purifies me. Reach to my core and be glorified, Lord.